Hey guys and welcome back to another Python library tutorial. In this video, we'll take a look at the PlaySound library. So what is PlaySound? Well, as the name implies, it's used to play sound, play sound files in Python, right? Uh, it's quite possibly the most simplest library there is out there. It's definitely the simplest Arduino library because it is just one function. That's it. It's just uh, two lines of code, all right? One for the import and one for the function call. That's it. That's all there is to it. So let's get right into it. Now, if you haven't already uh, installed it from the command prompt, make sure you do. It's just a simple command pip install uh, play sound. Okay. So let me make the import. Okay. Uh, from play sound import play sound. Okay. So basically, from the play sound library, import the play sound function. All right. The name of the function and the library are the same. And this is the function that we're going to use. And this is the only function we can use. Uh, it takes the file path of the sound file we want to play. Now, in my case, I ha already have two sound files uh, you know, stored in this location, in the lo location of this Python file. So I'll just write the name, background, some background music from a game I made. OK, dot wav, OK, dot wave. Let me run this and okay, so that was the wave file. Uh, and here's MP3. I actually have two files, you know, there, there's the same file but in different formats. I just want to show you that both of them work, all right. So, yeah. Uh, MP3 because that's pretty common, right? And wave files are also you know used quite often in games and such, right? Because they're like pure sound files. So yeah, that's that's it. That's all there is to it. There's just a few more things I want to mention. That uh, if you're looking for a library, a, an audio library that can actually pause, play, rewind, change the position of the you know uh, of where the music is playing from and other stuff like queuing and stuff. There are actually three or four other audio libraries in Python that are pretty good. Uh, I'll include links to them in the description below, all right? So you can check those out if you want. But if you're just looking to play simple sounds, all right, then you can go ahead and, and use, you know, play sound over here. Also, I do recommend you just use it to uh, play simple sounds and not soundtracks and stuff. Because, um, well, playing sounds are simpler, right? And which goes well with play sounds, you know, simplicity. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you want to see more content like this in the future, make sure to subscribe or otherwise I'll see you in the next video.